Our Leslie Picker following the money force as she always does today at the NASDAQ. Les? Hey, Scott, maybe the fourth time is the charm here. Appaloosa's David Tepper once again urging Allergan to separate Brent Saunders' role of chairman and CEO. The plea comes in a fresh letter today following Allergan's disappointing earnings last week. Allergan reported a muted, muted guidance number and the stock price continues to languish. Tip Tepper said he submitted a proposal at Allergan's upcoming annual meeting to garner shareholder support for the move. Last year, a similar proposal failed to get a majority of investors on board. Board, although Tepper submitted three similar letters urging the company to split the roles last year as well. In today's letter, however, Tepper writes, quote, in the wake of last Tuesday's earnings call and market reaction, it should by now be readily apparent to all interested and responsible parties that Allergan requires a fresh approach to its business strategy and an unbiased review of its capabilities, opportunities, and way forward. Tepper says an independent chairman with pharmaceutical experience could, quote, Quote, exert a favorable influence on executive decision making. Now, Allergan responded today that the company's board of directors has received Appaloosa's proposal and is committed to continuing to engage with them as we do with any shareholder who has input and constructive ideas. The board of directors is committed to strong governance practices and independent board leadership. Appaloosa holds less than 1% of Allergan, but it's the firm's third largest publicly disclosed position. And shares of Allergan, of course, jumped on that news that Tepper is still very heavily involved in this one. Scott. Les, you, you follow uh, activists, obviously, uh, mm -hmm. closely. Not that we consider, you know, generally David Tepper to be an activist investor. Um, the mere fact that this is public, though, now, mm -hmm. uh, once again, shows you how far he is willing to, to push this. It's not like he's a big public fighter, but he clearly will when he feels he has to. That's true, and that should certainly catch the attention of other shareholders who are invested in this stock. Uh, because as you mentioned, David Tepper, this isn't really something he does all the time. So if he feels compelled to really be out there and send his fourth letter on this very same subject of separating the chairman and CEO roles, then it's something that a lot of shareholders will continue to pay attention to as well.